welcome back to my channel. My name is Chrissy Harless. On this channel, we typically do subscription box unboxings, but I do like to pepper in beauty type content because that's what I like to do, so I'm going to force it on you. Today is a new styling tool, and I thought that this looked really cool. I was very much drawn to the color mint. It's a, apparently a special edition color here, but this is the Chi Spin and Curl Ceramic Rotating curler one inch it also has a free cleaning tool which is kind of cool it just looks like a bag so we're gonna break into this and we're going to attempt to curl my hair okay so it says that it has an open chamber easy to release your hair while protecting your skin from getting burned Oh, okay. I already like one thing on it. The base where the cord is rotates. That is where I usually end up damaging my hair tools is if the base does not rotate, then it ends up like fraying at that point. Oh, okay. So I like that. It also has like a little Velcro cord keeper. Okay. So this is like really top heavy, like super top heavy. Um, I feel like it's going to be more comfortable holding it like way up here, which is maybe the intention. There's a whole bunch of buttons. Um, this is a sticker. There we go. Okay, so let's plug it in and we'll get started here. The cord is nice and long, so we should be good with this. I have my hairbrush. I have some clips to hold my hair uh, out of the way. And then I also did already put this in my hair. This is the only product I used, but it's like heat protecting. It's by Alterna Caviar Anti-Aging Restructuring Bond Repair Leave-In Heat Protection Spray. Strengthens and protects damaged hair up to 450 degrees. This only goes up to 410 degrees. We're going to have our best success if we read the instructions. That's how I feel. Oh, and the instructions actually seem kind of like, I don't know, easy or not. Online it had three different suggestions for heat. It has, or it has three different levels, like the lowest that says 15 second warm up time it was for fine hair, the medium was 17 seconds, and then the coarse was 19 seconds. So it heats up really fast. Oh, low must be 360 degrees. How do you do it? Oh, it's locked. This is a bad start. <laughs> Select the desired temperature by using the plus minus or set the desired temperature by pressing the M button to use the preset temperatures of low, medium, or high. Oh, I can't get it to change the temperatures. I'm going to turn it off, turn it back on, and see if I can get it. Okay, so when you turn it on, while it's blinking is when you need to adjust the temperature. I'm going to go with 390 degrees. It's for medium hair. So you can use the pre-selected ones that they have for low, medium, or high, or you can select your own, but it will still tell you in the window if it's good for low, medium, or high, like which temperature range you're in. Okay, and then this seems like relatively easy. You could just kind of like put it down and not worry about it touching other things since this entire outer case is like cool. Ooh, ooh, I kind of like that. Yeah, because usually when I put like my wand down on the counter, I'm like moving everything out of the way so I don't melt something else. So it has an open chamber, easy to release your hair while protecting your skin from getting burned. That looks dirty. Left and right buttons, easy to control the direction of your curl. So that's here. See? Oh my God, that moved so fast. Hoop, okay. Um, one inch ceramic barrel creates a perfect curl for hair longer than four inches. Yeah, and even the hottest it gets takes only um, 19 seconds to heat up. I don't know what that was for. Why was it beeping? Let's start underneath. It's typically how I would begin, but um, I have a feeling like I'm gonna totally mess this up. Take a section of hair and insert it into the opening of the curl chamber in a 90 degree angle, and then hold down the button in the desired direction of your curl and the hair will automatically be pulled into the chamber. When the hair strand is completely in the chamber, release the button, the rotating will stop. You'll hear four beeps once the curl is set and then you gently remove the hair from the tool. I feel like it's gonna be harder than that. Put it in at this angle. Did I get it right? No. Okay, to the side. Am I putting it in the middle? Oh goodness, maybe? It shouldn't be this hard. Put it in the center. I think I need it like up closer to my head. And then I want it to curl in this direction. Oh, it just did it. Now wait. I don't know how long this is gonna take. It sounds like outside. <laughs> okay, and then just pull it out. Oh my God, it worked. Oh my gosh. You know what's really cool about this too is it left the end straight, which um, I typically go in with a small hair straightener when I'm done curling my hair and straighten the ends because it gives you like a little bit more of a beachy 
like look it and then it doesn't look like I don't know I feel like it looks more finished when it's straight like that okay it didn't get that close to my head though um, I don't know if maybe I didn't do it tight enough or like I didn't hold it tight enough or close enough to my head I was I was holding it pretty close to my head maybe I should I'm gonna like push it all the way up against my head What it, how is this going to be doing like the back of my head? I'm not really going to be able to see where I'm putting it, but um, if you can see inside there, I'm resting it right on this, right here. So like I'm sliding it in this way. I'll see if I can get a little bit closer in a second when I'm not doing the back of my head. So, okay, so like that. It doesn't pull or tug at all. Did it work? Yeah, aw, oh, they're so cute. These are such cute curls. Ooh. Okay, I'm sorry. Reset, reset what? Nothing is working. Gee. Oh, okay, I held down the power button. It did not turn it off. It just, it realigned the, the thing. Um, oh yeah, yikes, I did something. I started to spin it in the wrong direction, or at least I thought that it was in the wrong direction. So I tried to like pull my hair out of it too quickly. At least we know it has that safety feature. Okay, um, when it's in the back of my head, I'm having a hard time finding the button. So I'm just gonna like touch the button before I move it back there. There you go. So far, so good. All right, I'm gonna do the rest of this part of my head. Okay, so out of curiosity, because I wanna test this in um, a bunch of different ways, if I, I take just a massive chunk of hair, like my whole side part right here, and stick it in there, um, I just kinda wanna see how it curls. Some of them seem like they're curling slightly tighter than other ones, and I haven't quite figured out why yet. Um, I feel like I'm holding it right on my head for every single one, and I don't really have the ability to maneuver it at all in there. This, it does it, but it's also very messy right here. So like if you put too much hair in it, I think you're going to get this like weird crimp. I don't love that. Okay, so stick with smaller sections for sure. Yeah, see, that makes it a lot better right there. Um, also, the weight of it was very noticeable when I took it out of the packaging, but now that I'm holding it in the center point, it's not too heavy at all because it doesn't have, it's not like a hair dryer where it's like all of a sudden top heavy right there. And you feel like you have to hold it. Awkward, it's actually really comfortable to hold. So Chi did actually send this to me. They let me pick out something on their website and this is what I selected because I thought that it was like so interesting and something that we could actually test out. I don't know for sure if they gave me a coupon code Code, but I will reach out to them and ask if I do have a coupon code and um, or like a link or something I will have that down below for you guys um, quick disclaimer though if you use links in my description box for the most part a lot of them are affiliate links is that's just like the nature of the subscription box business is that it's like a refer friend type uh, business. So uh, most all of them are affiliate links and I'm pretty sure that this one is too. I think that it is. I'm not for sure but I, I'll be sure to have it down below. Okay, out of curiosity, I wanna see what happens if I just don't let go of the button, if it's gonna like pull on my hair. It could hurt, I don't know, but I don't think it will. Oh yeah, see, it just keeps rotating. Oh, that's nice. I was a little bit nervous there. I was gonna rip my hair out of my head for you guys. Whoa, okay, so maybe that has a little bit to do with it too, so. I'm trying to figure out how to get like the curls to be consistent. They're fairly consistent. They're just not like absolutely the same. And I think it could be two parts. It could be the amount of hair that you're putting in because the more hair, the looser the curl. You could kind of like utilize that to determine what kind of curls you want or the less hair, the tighter the curl, but also like I whipped that one around a bunch of times. So I don't know if it like just helped to push it closer to the barrel, but it kind of seems like it might have.
We are already on the last one. Um, so far, it has taken me about 25 minutes to curl my entire head. It might go a little bit faster for you if you have finer hair or shorter hair. It might take a little bit longer, of course, if it's coarser or longer. But I feel like 25 minutes to curl my entire head is honestly super reasonable. I'm so surprised that I love this as much as I do. There's no chance of me burning myself like anywhere. I can, I literally cannot burn myself with this. <laughs> it's so awesome. So this is something that I will use on my daughters, especially because I always tend to like damn near burn their ears. They want their hair curled every once in a while and the entire time they sit there like covering their ears and like wincing that I'm going to get too close to them. Um, I didn't feel any heat on my head, my scalp at all. And then this one, I did also just see on the um, box here that it has a one hour shut off. So even if you accidentally leave it plugged in and you have that kind of like anxiety about it being plugged in and leaving the house, it auto shuts off after one hour. So you don't have to freak out too much about it. Little hack that I have about it, because I do freak out about my hair tools being left on or being left out also, is putting them away. And I know you can't put them away when they're hot but what you get is just those little like heat protector sleeves I'll link ones that I got from Amazon down below they were like ten dollars or something for two and they're pretty large and you just put it in this heat sleeve and you just put it away right away just put it away and then you won't be freaking out but with this at least it has like an auto shut off after an hour my hair texturally feels very good like it doesn't feel like it burned or like crisped up any sections I think I like it usually at this point I would have a little bit of oil in my hair as I'm separating it but um I didn't grab that so I'm not gonna do it again I don't want to mess with them too too much I might have too many curls for my <laughs> for my typical liking but I really like how these ends how the ends look as well. What's the back look like? You guys gotta tell me. I can't see myself in my viewfinder enough. How are we looking back here? Good? I hope so. <laughs> okay. Well, there it goes. So see, I just dropped it on my carpeting and it didn't melt anything. I got lip gloss in my hair now though. I freaking love it. I really do like it. They're, they're just like off from one another enough where it's not creating like one big wave. I tend to have that problem a lot. I highly recommend. This is really cool. Okay, so uh, yeah, I guess that's everything that I have for you guys today. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. Please consider hitting subscribe while you're here. I truly, truly, truly do appreciate it. I will have the links to both of my channels over here. Video for you guys to watch next over here. Let me know what you guys thought down in the comment section. And reminder, again, I will have link. I will try to see if I can find any coupon codes. I think they do have a sale on their website right now, but I'll be sure to put everything down below for you guys. And uh, that's it. Love you guys so much. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.